Oh my gosh, guys, look. Look what happened. Oh my gosh, look. Guys, do y'all see that? <laughs> oh my goodness, old mama's walking around. <laughs> she has, wait, those are her two sons. Hero and Champ, those are her two sons. They were literally following her. I know that seems like obvious, like duh, her sons would follow her, but Hero hasn't been with her for a long time. And so that's crazy. They're following her, trying to get that little, that little branch. I'm guessing it got stuck on her. I need to get in there and get that off. She can't walk around with that all day because if that branch gets caught on something, then she'll get caught on it subsequently. That's funny, guys. I just uh, tore down some branches from these trees because there's a lot of greens that the littles like. And old mama must have been having a little too much fun with it. It had to have gotten stuck to her collar or something. That's, that must be what it is. I just saw her walking around with a branch stuck to her neck. <laughs> hey, hero. Hey, baby. Hey, good boy. Hi, good boy. Hi, Lulu. Did you get it off, old mama? Oh, wait. wait where were, she, she's not wearing a collar. Then where was it stuck at? I got to go back and play the footage to see where it was stuck at. I didn't even... It's kind of hard to see. It's really bright out here. So whenever I play back the footage, I'm sure I'll be able to see it better. I'm sure you guys probably could see it better too. But I'm having to, I'm having to squint my eyes because it's bright. And so I, I thought it was just stuck to a collar. But it must have got stuck between her horns or something. I really don't know. Tilly, you don't want to eat with them? I guess you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh-oh. Okay, baby. Hey, Tilly. Hi. All right, I guess I will play some old footage that I got a little bit earlier today, and we will get it right into this video. Hey guys, Ellie here. Today, first thing as always, baby. Hero. I'm listening. Where's my baby at? Hey, baby. Come on, Hero. Come on, buddy. Come on, baby. I'm over here, buddy. Over here, hero. Come on, hero. Come on, baby. Let's go, bud. Over here, baby. Over here, son. There he is. There comes my boy. Come on, hero. Come on, hero. I'm over here, son. Let's go. I'll pet Donkey Dan while hero comes over here. There's my good boy. There's the good boy. You're a good boy too, Donkey Dan. I love you a lot, but the bond that I have with Hero is just on another level. Hey, buddy. Hey, good boy. The good boy. You wagging your tail so fast, buddy. I know, Donkey Dan. There's no need to be jealous. You're a good boy too. Donkey Dan's a good boy. Hey, bud. Are you enjoying your time back at I'm a Survivor? Yeah, we've been blessed with some good rains lately. I'm really happy that the grass is growing back well. And um, that's the whole reason the donkeys were moved out of this pasture in the first place, as I've mentioned many times before, is that the grass was just too little for their needing. As you can see, a donkey is much bigger than a goat. So the donkey requires much more grass. The grass was barely even sufficient for a goat. So just imagine how much less sufficient it was for a donkey. Grass isn't the only thing that they eat. And a lot of times they'll eat. Let me show y'all something cool over here that I think y'all might like. I'm going to rip down some greens from these trees. I do this every so often and then throw them out for the goats to eat. And they really like eating them. A goat's diet, you know, grass is obviously probably number one. But they also like to forage on leaves and different kinds of plants and whatnot. So it's good to include that in their diet. I've been trying to decrease their intake of grain i've been feeding much less grain than i used to because after i went to the vet and they kind of told me about champ and whatnot and just in general reading a little bit more about grain and other heavy duty type of foods it um it can be counterproductive to their health you want them to be well nourished and so that's, that's kind of the whole point of the grains but in, it, it can almost get out of hand to where it almost makes them overweight or where they're a little too nourished, I suppose you could say. And so I'm trying to find a good balance. It takes time to sort of learn and kind of 
test the waters if you will but anyways i'm just rambling let me rip one of these down and i'm going to show y'all how much the goats like this it's hard with uh, one hand oh hero's trying to reach up hey buddy reach up for it reach for the sky son oh my goodness look at my little kangaroo look at my little kangaroo jumping up oh what a oh my goodness that pose is so funny you guys can y'all believe that this boy when he was born couldn't even walk on those back two legs and now he's walking only on those back two legs how incredible is that does that look good imogene yes i know oh you want pets she's rubbing herself against me she wants love she's trying to nudge her head on me did you miss this past drawing machine y'all been getting harassed by rita the past month and a half or whatever so i bet it's good to finally be able to be in peace rita's sweet i don't want y'all to think that i'm giving rita a hard time or that i hate her or anything like that it's something crazy imogene what are you doing you're kind of scaring me baby you're kind of walking up on me all fast and it's freaking me out no i love rita she's good but you know she's kind of she's like a firecracker as i'm sure you all know and it kind of makes a lot of it makes me uncomfortable and a lot of the other animals get made uncomfortable as well so i know that imogene and dan are probably happy not to have to live with that come on rip that thing out of there this would be so much easier to get with a chainsaw or with some sort of tool or something come on guys come on little owls oh yeah here they come check it out i'm gonna throw this down right there and now one by one they're all gonna make their way over here because they see that ole is dropping some greens oh there's carrie oh gosh Y'all ever seen Carrie run that fast before? <laughs> Here's Imogene. I'll get more, guys. Don't worry. It's the craziest thing. I always say there's some really good greens on this tree. I'm going to go to... Let me try this tree. Right here. It's really... I'm trying my best with one hand but it's really really hard there he's got jumping on me Woo! look at this big one right here y'all that's probably the biggest one yet oh look at him tug of war over it <laughs> there you go carrie hero you're trying to have some fun with them they won't let you poor hero he gets so bullied in here he don't get any grain during feed time i had to feed him when i let him out which is fine but even now, as they're going for greens, they just bully him off of everything. Hero can barely get a single thing when he tries to do stuff with the goats. They don't let him be a part of any of their group activities. It's the saddest thing. Hero, it's okay. You can always be a part of daddy's activities. It's okay. You know what? You don't gotta get along with the other goats too well because your daddy will always love you so very much. You can just remain a people person no matter how big you get. Even when you get this big as Carrie, or if you get this big, this is probably more realistic because after all, that right there is his mother. So, ow, oh my. Ow, I wish I got that on video. Man, guys, I'm thankful to God that my leg's okay. I didn't actually get it. Like I said, I didn't get it on camera, but goodness gracious, Carrie, I guess tried to headbutt one of the goats and she instead headbutted me. Whoa, watch out, watch out, guys, what's wrong? Can, why can't y'all just share? Why do y'all gotta, why do y'all gotta be causing trouble like this? And why do I gotta be the collateral damage in the middle of it? Guys, seriously, Carrie just ran me right, ow, that's gonna be a bruise, golly. It hurts so bad right here, I don't even know. I don't see a mark or anything. And so I'm thankful that my leg didn't get hurt worse. Because she like ran with full force right into my shin. These guys are out of control. I'm trying my best not to like absolutely lose my temper right now because I'm livid. That makes me mad. You know, I think anybody would get mad though. I know that people, it's like a natural human bodily response when someone gets punched in the nose or when you get hit by something your body just secretes whatever hormones correlate to anger or rage and stuff 
And so, golly, that blow to my my leg hurts so bad. And so, you just want to get angry and get so livid, and you just want to take out your wrath on the entire world. <laughs> Those are the emotions that are going through my body right now. But I'm trying my best to stay composed, stay calm. Set a good example for my son, of course, and you know, be thankful that my leg isn't hurt worse. Cause, like, I guess my heart's hip to be. Cause I realize that could have been worse. I mean, even big strong football players think about players that play in the nfl there's just one guy nick chubb he uh he's a really good player and as far as i know a really good guy too high hero i felt really bad for him nick chubb basically kind of like what carry just did to me he um took a blow right to his knee and it basically dislocated it and he's out for the season it was a really gruesome injury i feel sorry for him and I guess I just say all that to say that I know that even big, strong football players can get seriously injured from, you know, from forces coming at their legs really quickly. And so I'm just thankful to God that it wasn't anything more serious. I know it might sound like relatively minor to some of you, but seriously, that, that hurt really bad. I, I, paused, I cut the video off as soon as it happened. That did not feel good. I only wish I recorded it. Um... Do any of my security cameras, would they have captured that on video? There's that one right there, but I don't think that one is this far enough to the right. Dang it! That means it happened in the one blind spot. There's also a camera right there on the on the porch. But that camera probably cuts off like right here, like on this line. And so that means that if it happened right there in that corner, that it was in the perfect blind spot where no security camera would have picked it up. Dang it, what luck is that? Oh, oh well, it's all right. You know what? Despite all the trouble, the animals are eating. They're happy. They're having fun. I suppose they're establishing rank with the uh, nonstop headbutting of each other. And Ellie knows that his place on the hierarchy is dead last at the very bottom. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I can feel it. My shin's gonna be sore. I um, it hurts to, not to the touch, but putting a good. Actually, it doesn't hurt anymore. Oh my goodness, did I, just, did I just get healed? It doesn't hurt anymore, wait. Okay, I feel it a little bit, but the pain kind of went away. Maybe I'm just dramatic. Although I'm not dramatic, because that was a brutal blow. Oh boy. Really, Donkey Dan? <laughs> that was nice, Donkey Dan. That was very nice. Hey, baby. Daddy's got to go. He roam. I got to go to the vet to pick up. Oh, yeah. I'll include that in this video. Why not? I was about to wrap it up, but I remember that I got to go to the vet because two of our inside kitties have just gotten fixed. Noodle and Lavelle, my little lion cub. They're both get, they both getting fixed, and they're, they're, well, they're done by now. I think that it went well, and this is about the time they said I could pick them up, so I need to head over there and pick them up real soon. I will catch y'all when we're there. All right, lovey, do you think you can video the cats back there? Not really. It's not... They, I can't really see them. I can see a little bit of noodle. It's really hard. They're really, like, not happy right now. Aww. We just got Very them from, upset. I'm sure you saw a little lion cub a little bit, right? Uh, they saw a noodle. They didn't see Lavelle? He's moved around quite a bit. Really? Yeah, they been, uh, they were moving around while you were in Walmart. Either way, they've been fixed, guys. We're taking them home right now. They're doing good. They're a little sleepy. They're on pain meds and stuff. Oh, those are their new. Inflatable collars. <laughs> their new inflatable. They're Look, collars. We're, they're we're, not cones of shame. We're, we're the parents that got Lovelet a surgery suit after her recovery. <laughs> and here's the thing. Say what you want about that extra $20 that we spent for three of them, but Loveland's recovery went phenomenal. Yeah, no, no, the suit helps a lot. You pay for what you get. Mm -hmm. That's how it usually goes. Only sad part is you can't do that with boys. You can't do that with boys. Oh, look at Noodle. I know, oh, he's so goodness. sad. <laughs> he's so sad. I'm pretty sure the anesthesia's worn off, but they did get a pain injection, so. They'll be back to their normal selves in no time, you Ooh, guys. I don't know. They're getting pain meds for the next three days, so they might be a little interesting. We're just going to have to watch them. We need to make sure that they're not doing a whole bunch of activity. The thing is, is I noticed when I got Finn fixed, there were no other cats, but 
he didn't want to do a whole bunch of running around and jumping and all that so there was no need because they'll see the other, the other three running around like crazy and they'll probably want to play with them if that happens we're gonna have to we're gonna have to have like i think it's gonna have to be closet time because they don't even need the bathroom where they can jump up on things like coming to jesus or whatever you oh, call it well i feel that i can't humble them i just took their balls i can't do that I can't do that to my babies, my babies. They'll be okay. They'll be okay. Alrighty, guys. Well, with that said, I hope y'all enjoy. No, 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 don't oh, do that. What, what, what? Straight. Okay. Why not? I thought. Oh, you want to go there? Okay. Well, you drove all the way over here. You might as well get on the Grand Parkway. I guess that's true. <laughs> Where is oh, it at? I don't know. I hear an ambulance. Alright, guys. I hope y'all enjoy them. Y'all, we're going to get home as safe as we can. It's probably somewhere different. Right there. Yeah. Y'all be sure to let us know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys want to see. I hope you all have an incredibly blessed day or night. And as I always say, you boy, Leo.